Stage where you get ready, you know, you know how boxers are always like <laughs> they do all this stuff. That's how you feel. I've spoken at numerous Vicellus events. Ryan was the catalyst for that, and uh, I probably had harassed him for nearly a year about taking this challenge, and he wouldn't accept it. And Dale said that the competition was this, one hour a day of weights and one mile a day for 365 days. And the person who loses has to call up the other one and say, I'm just a boy calling a man. In 1972, Dale first challenged assistant coach Jack Shallow to the year-long endurance test. Years later, he would challenge another of his assistants, Ricky Blanton. It's, it's a big commitment. I've run three marathons, and it's not, a marathon isn't the same commitment as this because you actually have to do something every single day regardless of schedule, weather, the way you feel. And he wound up, it was a tie. Oh, what? So now, I challenge Ryan. I He's turned me down the whole time. So <laughs> I literally was saying, I'm not gonna do it, I don't have the time. Weighed on me though, because I knew I was being challenged by a 73 year old man, and I'm 31 years old. There's no reason why I can't. I'm physically fit too. Yeah, when I'm 90, when I'm 90 you'll take me up on it. Stand to your feet and give cold We have, We have some. So many fantastic skills. We've got so much ability. We don't, I told Ryan, he hasn't even scratched the surface of his greatness. Neither of you or neither of I. So just spontaneously, with about 2,000 of his people there, I saw him in the front row. And I said, hey, this will be a good time. Ryan and I have a challenge coming up, don't we, Ryan? So he had the nerve to uh, call me out in front of my, you know, couple thousand distributors. And all. I sat there in that room and I wanted to interrupt the speech. I wanted to jump on that stage and tell him I accept your challenge. And right now, I accept your challenge, Dale. I'm so glad I got him going. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh,